All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard. Thank God it is Thursday because now we have some more content for you guys. If you guys do enjoy the content, as always, please leave a big thumbs up is all I ask. And subscribe to the channel if you are brand new to the channel. We always do it big here on Supercard on here every damn day that we can. So I'm going to log in real quick. Uh, in this episode, we pretty much are going to do Daniel Bryan. You're going to see me get Sheamus, Daniel Bryan, and you're going to see me do, open up right now my team Battleground Rewards. So, guys, we have a nice episode for you tomorrow. We have a special Shattered Freebie Ladders. Just just great. I know I should have been there a long time ago, but, yeah, I, just stuff happened. Anyways, so the first thing that we are going to do right now at this very moment is claim our TVG. So, we did win, easily, as always. Currently, right now, in the prep phase for the next one. Now, what we're hoping for is to hopefully get a female pro, Neon, or we're hoping to get a Shattered. As you guys know, my Shattered luck has been horrendous. I still haven't packed one yet, which is insane. But yeah, we can only hope for to get it here. So we're gonna open this up. I'm not. Ex I'm, not I'm expecting the worst kind of rewards right now. I'm expecting the two gothics, one neon. So here we go, claiming this bad boy. Booyah! And we got two neons. I'm hoping this is the male one. The next one's a female. Uh, Jay Uso is a single, and Trent Sevens is a pro. But if this could be Selena Vega, that'll be nice. And it's a. Sin Cara, uh, yeah. I don't think getting shadow cards is going to be easy in this game. I'll tell you that much right now. That is dreadful. All right, so we did get another pro in uh, in Trent, but I don't even know if leveling him would make a difference at this point. Uh, I did get my pull about maybe two hours before Ring Dom. I got Alexa Bliss. And uh, I decided to pull it because I knew I, I, been, I was close to a pull, if anything. Because you guys, you guys do know, Supercard did tweet out, pulls are easier. And I wish I could keep track better of my resets. But with Ring Dom, you don't know because you don't know if it's doubled or anything like that. So it's, I, use, I will probably keep track after Ring Dom and I get my freebie. That's how I'll start keeping track. But, of course, I'll be in regular Shattered. So I'll be kind of screwed at this point. But, yeah, anything to get a Neon, at least tired of neon <laughs> so yeah that was meh meh rewards i'd say the, at the very least so yeah let's just uh lock in uh actually we'll, we'll just unlock this one right here there we go another nice new card to the to the to collection Sin Cara, you did your thing, bro. We'll just lock you in, love you up later on, and save you for some food. So, here we go, guys. We're about to get Sheamus right here, right now. I must say, I'm not really a big... I hate the first Ring Doms. I really hate the first one. Why? Because there's no way you could dodge the attacks unless your deck is OP as shit. And here's another reason I hate it. You never get the ones with momentum, I swear. They always say, oh, you got two in momentum. Well, you're not going to get those. That's one thing I really, really, really hate. But there's nothing much you can really do about it. And then I'm going to get attacked by someone with momentum, obviously. And then they're, they're just, my card will proc. And then it, it just gets annoying at that point. All right. So far, so good. But I feel like something, something sketchy is about to happen. So I'm gonna go Brett here. We got the left and the right. As long as he doesn't attack me, it's GG. There's the there is the momentum one, and we avoid it. Good game, pickle Rick. All right, so we're we're about to get this Sheamus card for sh guaranteed. I got 49 picks, so I had to save some up before I made the video. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me! Really? I did not pay attention to the card. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Pray for me, guys. Pray for me. That's all I ask. Just pray for me. That's all I ask. All right, so we'll do this really quick. This is how I do it. Always have it on the enhancement first. Then we train again. Booyah. You just double check if we have anything that's weird. You don't. Get rid of it. Bah. That's how you... Training up cards now is just so easy. 
All right. I'm going to lose some picks here, actually, which is very unfortunate. It's going to drop me down. Because when you pick these things off the board now, once you pick the card, then they bring you back. Don't get that rule, but it's going to cost me picks now, unfortunately. So, Unless it takes me to the last one, which I doubt. So I'll put Ricochet up there. He'll get, he's probably going to get beat by Brian somehow. The one stat he couldn't win. Of course, this is what happens all the time. Pretty much two statted him, but yeah. We'll put John Cena up here. We'll probably get a speed match. Speed Charisma. What else is new? Because it always calls one of the worst stats for me. It's, it's one thing I hate about ring domination in the first one. You can't escape it. And then, yeah, there's no way I can win this one now because I'm sure all his cards are momentum. I got to win two games, too. And I just can't see it happening. I got, I'll got. i have to sacrifice one of these. So what I'm going to have to hope for here is he goes left. Well, he has to, it doesn't matter where he goes. I just got to hope this card is weak as hell. That's all I got to hope for. Please be weak. Please be a weak card. No momentum. No momentum. I'm still going to have to go for it. If it oh, for fuck's sake. All right, so it's automatic L already. Nothing I can do about it. But either way, it saves me the picks anyway, so whatever. Yada, 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 yada. All right, that went horribly wrong. 53, as long as you get down to under, fifth, under 50, that's still fine, which I will, which is good. Perfect, exactly. You're going to get to 49, so now you get to avoid the whole fiasco. And there we go. Titan Seamus is... Oh, I just said Titan. Holy shit. Shattered Seamus is complete. Uh, he could be our freebie. Who knows? It could be crazy. A lot of people were scared with this whole thing like this. Because uh, it was all the way a monster. So everyone was really freaking out over it. But yeah, guys. One more card to go. This probably take me two or three hours to complete. So I'll be right back with some more WWE Supercard for you today. Alright, you guys. Here we go, baby. The finale. We are getting Daniel Bryan right here, right now, baby. Let's go. Mm, we're about to get this card. Get him up. Get into Shattered. And then get the hell up out of Neon, man. Because I can't stand Neon. Now, I know a lot of people are asking me, uh, Ed, is the double reset working, whatnot? I honestly cannot tell you if it is. There's no positive way I can tell you if it is working because I'm not going to bother counting the resets knowing that I'm going to be in Shattered here after I finish Daniel Bryan. So for me, I, I don't know. Uh, if you guys want to test it yourselves, go right ahead. Just count double. But the odds of you actually you know, counting and getting double, it's going to be small. And we also we don't even know what the pity pull is this season. Because Supercard just changed it. So we're not 100% sure what the pity pull even is. So I wouldn't bother doing it yet. Wait until we actually get the confirm reset. And then we could work out the whole details. With the whole ring dom double shard method. If it is still a thing. Which I don't think it will be. But here we go. 18 picks. We're going to guarantee you get Daniel Bryan. We only got two shards left. We've got 17 picks left. Uh, we pretty much will just need to do that. that and call it a deal. And there you go. Daniel Bryan is completed. So we're going to have to go pro him out. Uh, overall, I thought it would be bad, but it, w it, it got easier as it went along. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So, yeah. Uh, overall, not the worst event in the world. But, yeah, we'll go ahead and lock in Daniel Bryan. And, yeah, so that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. In tomorrow's episode, we're going to get our Shatter freebie. And you're going to see me clean my two ladder awards. I hope you all tune in for that one because I'm really pumped up for that. So, guys, come back tomorrow to see some more awesome, amazing content as always. I've been your boy, Ed. We have finished Daniel Bryan. Now I'm going to go ahead and train this bad boy up because Shattered Tear is calling my name. I should have been there a long time ago, I think. I, I had the decker ready to do it, but I didn't get the momentum slots. So that's a punch in the face to me, but that's what happens when... Shit happens, but yeah, it's all right. I'm all right. I'm going to be there now. That's all that matters. Thank you all so much for watching. Can we get lucky, though, in Shatters here? Are we finally going to get some luck? My luck this season so far has been utter shit. 
However, I do have high hopes that we will continue to do good. If not, well, we haven't done good. I still have high hopes. So thank you all so much for watching. If you are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. As always, love all the support. We're so we're getting closer and closer to catching up to that one fucking person that we all want to get rid of. And we're so close of catching him. So, so close. And don't forget to hit the like button as always if you all enjoy today's content, which I'm sure you guys did because we got the event pro. All right, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. First thing in the morning, that video is going to be up. It's going to be maybe 8, 9 in the morning. It'll be up. Stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Be blessed. And have a good one. Boy.